Hey guys, you're back with another one of Arbiter's Garage Mod Tutorials, finally. Um, I've been having a lot of issues recently with my PC, mainly sound related, otherwise I would have done one of these sooner because obviously I've had no way to record myself so I've had to wait for a new sound card to arrive and for some reason this still only records in one channel because it's got two microphone inputs for left and right and obviously I only have one jack for my headset so that makes it totally pointless. So hopefully I'll try and edit it in the video where I can actually like use one sound input channel for both but anyway regard yourself for that but then Windows 7 decided to break and uh, I've just had problem after problem with this thing and I'm finally back into the swing of things so I'll get on with one of my requests. Now this was a request that I turned down doing a few, we few weeks ago because I couldn't actually do it my mod was broken but turns out my mod wasn't broken and there was just something else interfering and it was from a user that I don't remember the name of because I haven't bothered to check again but they wanted to know how I could how they could use the Asgard teleporter to teleport to a laser pointer location now hopefully when you watch these tutorials you start to think about the stuff that you can do in your own mind and I would hope that you would actually like figure most of this stuff out yourself but I'm not gonna not do something because I think you should be able to do it yourself but you know use your imagination so, well, the Asgard teleporter. Basically, what was wrong, which you have to ignore this one step, is that I have space build mod, which means that I have to have a power supply. So I'm just going to spawn myself a power supply here. Sorry there, just wanted to delete my, uh, well, stop my overlay things coming on and spawn everything. So, ignore what I'm doing here because I just need a power supply to make the thing work. So, this is totally irrelevant to all of you. And link to... Right, and that should hopefully make it work now. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is if you want to teleport yourself, you need something to output the coordinates of yourself. So we're going to use the regular target finder beacon sensor. Um, we're going to set the range obviously to a huge range, doesn't really matter how big, just as long as it's fracking huge. Um, make sure do not target owner is unchecked and target plays is checked. Um, you can also add name filters such as your own name just to make sure it tracks yourself. Um, oh, I'm using the small models again because I was doing something else. Right, so there's the target finder and there's the beacon sensor that is outputting the world GPS coordinates. And if I just wire that up there, you can see that it's found me and it's outputting my coordinates, so that's great. So, the next thing you're going to want to do is wire up the Asgard teleporter to find you. So all you need to do is wire up origin X, Y and Z to the beacon sensor so x is to oops, x is to world x y is to world y and z is to world z and the next thing you want to do is obviously you want to get the uh, laser pointer receiver down because you want to be teleporting to a place that you're designating with that device so laser teleport receiver or laser pointer receiver sorry and all we're going to do is i'm going to on top of this, just to make sure you don't spawn on the floor, I'm going to add a little constant value of 10. Just so that when you teleport somewhere, you're just hovering slightly above the surface. You're not like in the floor or anything. So, it's going to add... It's going to wire this up. And we're going to wire destination X to output X. Destination Y to output Y. And destination Z to this add gate which is output Z plus 10. Right, <coughs> so now that we've got our origin, which is us, and the destination, which is the laser pointer, which I'm going to link at the end. I'm not going to bother doing that now. So, now we need something that is going to actually teleport us. Now, we could use a numpad input and just say... to oh, got to put it on big models again and just say uh, to send when that is pressed which is fair enough but I'm going to use something a bit more complicated because I'm like that so I'm going to use the laser pointers internal own um, active component which I did in a previous tutorial which is basically that when the wire which is when the laser pointer is switched on it outputs a one to tell it that it's switched on and I'm going to use that as a 
a mechanism to actually teleport me. So we're going to be using the delay gate, and what the delay gate does, as you know, it just counts up to the time that you set it to, and I'm going to put a greater than so that when it starts counting it, it does actually output 1. But I don't want it to uh, teleport me immediately, so I'm going to say that once the counter... I'm going to put two values in, one that the counter is going to count to, and one that I'm going to be teleported after. So it's going to be 4 and 3.5, which basically means that when the timer gets to three and a half seconds it teleports me and then half a second later it stops counting which means that I won't get teleported twice or I won't get you know anything like that so I'm gonna wire this up to delay as four and when the when on the greater than gate when the time elapsed on the delay is greater than 3.5 and that's gonna output a one and that's going to be our send when that's equal. So, now we've got this, and all we need to do is set the CLK to active, and then that should work. But, obviously, I, one more thing, I don't want this to go up unless I complete the full cycle of, you know, I, I don't want to accidentally do it. So I'm going to use comparison equal, and I'm going to say that when active, is equal to zero, you don't need to set any value for B because if B is nothing then it's automatically zero. Then I'm going to set reset to that. <coughs> and that means that any time the laser receive laser pointer isn't on, then it's it's not doing anything. <sighs> okay, so now all you need to do is get out the um, laser pointer or weapon, which is in the weapon section, just laser pointer there. Look at the receiver and right click and then it says linked and then hopefully when you look at a destination there and just fire after about three seconds you teleport there that's great and I can do that with say that building ledge over there as I said it's not an exact science and I'm stuck in the floor now but if I was to look at the floor there do it again there you go and I'm on top of a building and I can just go back down there after Obviously, I expect you to play with the times, and you can do it much quicker, like set it to only a two-second wait instead of a three-second one. But, um, yeah, this is, this is what you wanted, and there you go. So, right, until next time, goodbye.